All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. And this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's not a nine innings video. Today we're building a $1,500 PC. It's more around probably 1,800 if you went to buy these parts today. But when I bought it, it was around Black Friday and I've been buying these parts for the past three months. It all adds up to around 15 to 1,600. So uh, in this video, we're gonna be building the PC and then testing it, make sure it runs. And that's gonna be all included in this video. Uh, as you can tell, I'm wearing my Iron, Iron Man shirt. Uh, I'm a huge Iron Man fan. He's the best stone at me. It's There's no argument. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the parts that we're going to be using as build. All right, so starting off, we got the Intel Core i9 9900K processor, which has eight cores and 16 threads, and is still an absolute beast to this day. Next, we got 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM running at 3,200 megahertz and will match perfectly with the 9900K. Next, we got the 970 Evo from Samsung with read speeds up to 3,500 megabytes and writes at up to 2,500 megabytes. Next, we got the Z390 Aurora Pro Wi-Fi, the perfect board for my 9900K, which will allow me to overclock in the future. Next is the Kraken X63 by NZXT, and this will be the perfect AIO for my uh, CPU and will allow me to overclock in the future. Next, we got the Seasonic Focus GX750 power supply at 750 watts and is gold and it'll be perfect for my system. I won't have to upgrade for a while. Next is the hot GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. This was so hard to get and it will be an absolute beast at 1080p, which is what I play at. Next, we got the 4000D Airflow case by Corsair. This is the perfect case to keep my 9900K cool along with my 3060 Ti. Last week, we got two Fantex fans, the PH F140 MPs, and these will be additional fans to help keep my case cool. All right, so now that we introduced you to all the parts, I wanna say a quick thing. We got the 3060 Ti, as I just told you guys. I don't even know how I got it. It was pure luck. These things are so hard to get and find. Um, I got it through Best Buy. I used the uh, app Hotstock. It actually worked for me. I wasn't the one that actually bought it. My brother did. We both had the app and I was at work when um, it dropped. It was, I think, two Fridays ago. So I think it was January something, the last week of January. And uh, he ended up, was he was able to snag one and got one. So uh, I'm super excited for this build. This thing is a beast from what I've heard and seen. So I'm really excited. Just want to give a little story about that. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started on this build.
So this is the finished PC build. It was a. Uh, it wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it would be. And surprisingly, the cable management wasn't even the hardest part. I didn't think it was that difficult. Uh, installing the front case fans. Those were a pain in the butt. The screws wouldn't go in or anything. But uh, I think it looks. I think it looks pretty nice. The 3060 Ti is definitely the the showstopper in this case. I believe it looks beautiful in there. But we haven't booted up. So let's see if we did everything right. Hopefully we did. I'm crossing my fingers. Uh, let's go ahead and head over that way right now. All right, so we're gonna try out the first boot. Uh, I'm a little nervous. This is my first ever PC build, so uh, let's go ahead and plug her in and, and see what happens. Hopefully, it doesn't blow up on me. Give it a second. Give it a second. All right. All right. NZXC's on. Motherboard looks like it's on. Got the fans running. All right, all right. It was PC Okay, so we're getting something out. I had to hit the reset button, and there we go. My heart was beating so fast, but we got it to boot up. Oh my goodness, I was, <laughs> I was holding my breath. So. Uh, I thought it may have been the HDMI that wasn't getting any signal because everything seemed like it was running. And then actually all I had to do was hit the reset button and then it did another reboot and now it showed up. So we got it to work uh, successful so far. Uh, I'll tinker with the settings and make sure I can get the RAM up to 32 megahertz and everything just like it should be. Um, but I'd say this was pretty successful for my first time building. So, All right, so the build is completely officially done. But actually, it's not technically officially done because uh, after I installed the OS and everything, which I haven't yet, as you can see, I've still uh, got a lot to do still. This, by the way, looks very nice with the tempered glass on it as well. Um, but we're going to be installing an Elgato HD60 Pro as well. This actually just came in the mail after I was done uh, building the PC. And actually, it works out because I can't even install this until after I put the OS in because if I put it in, there's been problems. People have reported that the, um, you won't get anything to show up on the screen. It'll mess with the graphics um, card. So we'll wait till I put this in until after the OS is um, is installed and everything. So um, reflecting on this, I had a great time. This PC build was really, really fun. It's something I've been wanting to do for the past three or four years. And I finally got a chance to do it and I did. So uh, I really enjoyed it. It was very, very fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Um, not the highest quality build of all time. Um, obviously, with the camera work and stuff, I'm using my iPhone and everything. But I tried to uh, capture some of the footage I could for you and upload it for you so you guys could experience this with me. So with that said, there's not much more for me to say. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I will see you guys next time.